Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, I am constantly looking at sort of off meta weapons, if you will, that are actually more competitive than you might think here in Warzone 2. And recently I was looking at a lot of the rifles and comparing their TTKs and noticed that one in specific is particularly good in the close to mid range and not so great in the long range. So I got to thinking, could this be an alternative to some SMG loadouts? A lot of the SMGs are very competitive right now. Obviously, they've got the speed going for them, but their damage is all a little bit, uh, you know, in the mid tier, and that's all of them kind of bunched up together. Hence why that, uh, you know, category is so competitive. And I got to looking and it turns out this rifle in particular right here, the STB 556 is a wildly practical SMG AR hybrid when built for speed and aggression. So we are here on true game data and let's look at the stats real quick before we go ahead and we break down the actual setup here. Now, of course, you might be looking at the STB 556 and saying, okay, this is an AUG rifle, but we have an AUG SMG. If I was trying to make an SMG from the AUG platform, why wouldn't I just use the one that's already in the game? Well, if you go ahead and you look at the stats, combination shots as always, and we look at all weapons here, you'd notice that, well, it's not a particularly close competition whatsoever. The MX-9 has a slower TTK at every single range outside of the first few meters, right? The AUG rifle is outgunning the AUG SMG at 10 meters, at, you know, 27 meters, at 47 meters. It is clearly the better choice. So now let's go ahead. Let's look at the STB 556 and compare it against actual meta SMGs and not just the MX-9. So now we got all these lined up and here, of course, we've got the STB 556. I know crazy, right? Uh, we got the Vosnev, great close range TTK, the Vel 46, this and the P90 are kind of like the same gun when it comes to TTK stats, both two top tier options right now. The MP5, great close range TTK and the Bass P, surprisingly good close range and in the mid range. And when we look at these stats here, we get a very interesting story. Again, we've got 250 HP in combination shots. And as you guys can see, our red line, the STB 556, not going to lie, kind of surprising that outside of 47 meters, it doesn't have the best TTK because this is a rifle over range. You think it'd be better than every single SMG. But curiously enough, the Vel and the Bass P have a slightly better TTK beyond that range. But let's be real here. You're not using an SMG at 47 meters and beyond, right? We only care about what is in front of that, where it's actually a pretty interesting story. Now, in the super close range for the first 13 meters, the STB is pretty competitive. It's right there with the Vel and it's just behind the Vosnev and the MP5. But then those drop off pretty severely and they continue that severe drop off throughout, right? You'll notice that with our red line here, past 15 meters, the STB 556 is basically the king here. Best TTK at 15 meters, best TTK at 20 meters, best TTK at 27 meters. And then even when it drops off at 27 meters, it still is slightly beating out things like the Bass P and the Vel 46. So for the close to mid range, the STB is the clear choice in terms of damage. However, that's not the only factor in these kind of situations. Obviously, comparing a rifle to an SMG, what the major difference is going to end up being is the mobility, the sprint of fire and whatnot. We can actually look at some of the stats here uh, in general. You'll see the STB 556 actually doesn't have the slowest reload time here, which is pretty nice. Its magazine size from default is about the same as most of the SMGs. Fire rate's a little bit slower, but that still doesn't matter too much when you factor in the TTK and the accuracy see there now it does have the slowest ads time so that's something we'll have to combat with the setup here it has the best velocity though so in the mid range it's going to feel like it hits the most consistent and surprisingly it's movement speed not that far behind some of the smgs here it is the slowest but it's not all that far back and of course we're going to jump in with a ton of mobility based attachments as well sprint of fire not all that far back either it's ads movement speed does suffer some but again that's something that can be combated so surprisingly the stb 556 not drastically worse than a lot of the smgs for movement and when it comes to actual damage output in ttk it clearly is going to be outgunning these other options so let's go ahead let's dive in and actually build the go-to meta loadout for the stb 556 so that you guys can jump in and try this out for yourselves so as we get into this quick reminder if you guys are new here every single day i got you covered with all things going on in the world of call of duty so if you want to stay up to date with news updates meta conversations everything like that feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. And if you guys enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like on it as well it would be seriously appreciated. Also quick shout out to my friends over at Gamer Advantage. Of course, you guys always see me rocking the horizon frames whenever we got a face cam video going on here on the channel. 
I wear these things all day, every day. If you're someone who is looking at screens for long periods of time, whether you are gaming, maybe you're doing work or doing school, these are game changers. They offer prescription or regular lenses, plenty of different frame options and colorways. They got something for everyone. If you're interested, code immortal actually gets you a nice little discount at checkout. And the link for that will be down in the description below. But we got our STB556 here and we are focused on making this as aggressive as possible and as speedy as possible. It's already a very easy weapon to use. So that's really all we have to focus on. So we go for the Q900 rear grip, better ADS and sprint to fire, obviously two clutch areas to focus on to make it more competitive with those SMGs. And we tune to enhance those stats even more. I also go for the C11 riser, which is hidden behind the face cam there. This also helps out with your ADS and your sprint to fire. And here we tune for that better ADS. And then I go for the slightly better aim walking speed or strafe speed, which as we saw does, uh, you know, lack a little bit in comparison to some of the subs. So we're going to gain some there, which is nice to see. Now, personally, I cannot stand the iron sights on the AUG platform. So I got to use an optic. I go for the Chrono Mini Pro. I tune for the furthest eye position in the faster ADS. That said, if you're a fan of the iron sights, you could drop that you could throw on a 42 round mag if you wanted to to have that extended mag keep in mind we only have 30 here so that's something you got to be mindful of you're going to have to reload a bit more but 42 is going to slow you down a lot more so you also have to keep that in mind as well you could also go for something like the overpressured ammo if you wanted to maybe a stock that helps out with mobility here like the mx9 stock those are all viable options if you're okay with using the iron sights Beyond that, I've got the 7 milliwatt laser, pretty standard for all of our close range weapons. Better ADS and sprint to fire here, tunes to match that and enhance those stats even more. And then lastly, we do have a ton of barrel options here, but most of these, actually pretty much every single one, but the one we're using is going to slow us down because it's focused on, you know, the mid to long range with velocity and range and control. Whereas the S901 barrel is strictly focused on movement speed and ADS speed to again, clutch categories to make this gun even more viable again against SMGs. And we tune basically here to enhance that mobility as well with the better ADS speed and aim walking speed. So we've already got the stats outright on the base version of the gun outgunning other SMGs. Every single attachment here outside of our uh, optic, of course, is focused on making it more aggressive and more reliable for the close range, meaning this thing can actually realistically compete close range with subs and outgun them all in the mid range because at the end of the day, it is still a rifle. And that being said, that is the go to STB 556 loadout right now. In my opinion, that's going to wrap things up. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. That way you can always guarantee you are always up to date with everything going on in MW2, Warzone 2 and DMZ. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.